Modern supermarkets offer boatloads of seafood options, but how can consumers find fish that tastes good and is better for the planet? Stay tuned in. Since its beginnings in 1976, Costco has amassed a cult-like following among its members. Peanut brittle in bulk. Aquarium rocks in bulk. Humidifiers in bulk. And a can of tuna that's one foot tall. Costco loyalty stems from two things, the quality of its product offerings and its famously competitive prices. First launched in California, it now operates in nearly a dozen countries worldwide. For consumers who prefer purchasing their favourite seafood items in bulk, there are some excellent options. Think crab legs and fresh fish to prepared items like salmon burgers and even crab cakes. Because of Costco's sustainability commitment and generous return policy, customers can always shop with confidence. Costco carries various seafood brands, but its private label products are some of the most well-loved. For example, their Kirkland Signature Wild Alaskan Sockeye Salmon. According to online reviews, this salmon has a rich flavour, holds up to any cooking method and retains a pleasant texture, even after thawing. For salmon lovers who enjoy their favourite fish smoked, the Kirkland Signature Smoked Salmon is considered a sure thing, with many reviews celebrating its delicious taste and low price point. Since its humble beginnings, Walmart has ballooned into a massive corporation with thousands of brick-and-mortar stores, making it one of the largest grocery retailers in the United States. Unfortunately, bigger is not always better, at least in terms of seafood quality. When it comes to giving the chain's frozen seafood products negative reviews online, Walmart customers haven't been shy. For example, their frozen wild-caught pink salmon is reported as having poor consistency and flavour, as well as small portion size. The good news, however, is that Walmart has responded to these complaints by taking steps to improve its seafood quality. In conferences and in interviews, Walmart representatives have explained how the retailer plans to step up their focus on the environment, including sustainable seafood sourcing. Walmart reps have noted that the brand actively encourages seafood suppliers to improve their sourcing performance and achieve sustainability certificates. These initiatives should lead to higher quality products in the future, which is good news for consumers and the earth. One of the largest grocery corporations in the United States is Kroger, which uses its size to its advantage by putting sustainability and social responsibility initiatives in place across its many stores. In fact, in 2016, the retailer won a Food Recovery Award from the Environmental Protection Agency for reducing food waste. On the seafood front, Kroger has recently announced a new goal to source all of its seafood from farms and fisheries with sustainability certifications. According to the seafood industry publication Seafood Source, Kroger works with seafood suppliers to help them provide consumers with the freshest local seafood possible. Additionally, the Kroger Store brand features many varieties of frozen wild-caught fish, including salmon, halibut and shrimp. Safeway has been in business for more than a century, but apparently they haven't quite figured out the seafood department yet. According to the Oregonian newspaper, Safeway had to recall ready meal seafood products in the Pacific Northwest for improper labelling. They failed to identify anchovy, a known allergen, on the ingredient lists, making it a potentially deadly mistake. The store's packaged sushi may not be a smart purchase either. In a taste test for the Washingtonian, Safeway's California roll failed, with one reviewer comparing the soy wrapper to a Band-Aid. Sushi? <laughs> Rice, uh, raw fish and seaweed. But despite these issues, Safeway does show signs of improvement. For example, after Greenpeace gave Safeway's parent business, Albertsons Companies, low marks for carrying unsustainable seafood products, the company actually updated its policies to improve sustainability. In addition, the Washington Post featured Safeway in an article about growing consumer interest in sustainable seafood. According to the report, the retailer helped a non-profit called Fishwise establish a program to demystify the seafood buying process. Since its launch in 1916, Wegmans has remained a private, family-owned supermarket chain, primarily serving customers in the northeastern United States. You'll also see stores as far south as North Carolina. 
In 2022, Wegmans ranked third on the Fortune 100 Best Companies to Work For list, and the brand consistently achieves high marks in customer satisfaction polls. One feature that sets this chain apart from other supermarkets is the sheer size of its stores. They're large enough to house a coffee shop, an indoor cafe and more. Based on quality, variety and a commitment to transparency, Wegmans is also an excellent option for seafood shoppers. We have very high standards and our standards are as good as any restaurant or hotel, we expect no less. Although the company is small, it has made significant efforts to champion sustainability and responsible sourcing practices in the supermarket industry. For example, an article on the company website explains that the brand has stopped using single-use foam coolers to transport its seafood products from suppliers to stores. Furthermore, Wegmans received high marks from Greenpeace for sustainability, earning a score of 73 out of 100. The report explains that the retailer has good sustainability policy and is active in the fight against against illegal fishing and habitat destruction. A great example of the company's practices is its salmon sourcing, which takes into account many different factors, from freshness to even eco-efficiency. The New York-based grocery chain Price Chopper first opened its doors back in 1932, and the business remains family-owned to this day, operating over 100 stores across the Northeast. As the name suggests, this retailer focuses on offering competitively priced products. In addition to leading brand and private label products, the chain offers online cooking videos and a publication filled with helpful tips and recipes. But despite this retailer's positive qualities, consumers may still want to steer clear of its seafood department. Price Chopper is one of the lowest ranked grocery stores on the supermarket seafood ranking list that Greenpeace released in 2018. The retailer received a score of 40.4 out of 100, primarily due to a lack of consumer education about sustainability and the absence of a formal seafood policy. More recently, in 2021, CBS Boston reported that Price Chopper voluntarily recalled over a dozen items in its seafood department due to quality issues. According to the report, these products may have contained plastic or metal fragments, indicating a severe supplier problem. These troubling issues must be resolved to restore consumer confidence in the brand's seafood offerings. With its store-wide emphasis on natural and sustainable foods, it's probably no surprise that Whole Foods is one of the best places to buy fish. The Greenpeace report, Carting Away the Oceans, includes a timeline of how leading supermarket chains have scored, and among nearly two dozen companies surveyed, Whole Foods consistently appears at or near the top. The report also reveals that Whole Foods' focus on strict sustainability initiatives have set an excellent example for the rest of the grocery industry. What if you could go into the past, back before the fishing line was cast, to see that it was sustainable wild caught? Founded in 1980 as an answer to the lack of large natural food supermarkets, Whole Foods has upheld extremely high standards, and their seafood department is no exception. One example is the policy to sell only sustainably sourced canned tuna. Canned seafood products are often the most questionably sourced, but consumers can be sure that they are shopping responsibly when purchasing canned items at Whole Foods, even caviar. Another example of good policy is that when it comes to farmed fish, Whole Foods only sells from companies practicing responsible and sustainable practices, which is the same policy they have for wild seafood as well. Say it ain't so, Joe. Yep, California-based Trader Joe's has made our worst list. The small chain with a loyal following is known for its colorful house brands, array of unique products, commitment to socially responsible practices, and a super friendly staff. Our crew members do it quickly, with a smile and even a bit of conversation. And although there is certainly a lot of love about this grocery chain, customers may want to avoid its collection of seafood products. One big issue arises from the frequent product lineup changes intended to keep the TJ's shopping experience fresh and exciting. With so many items coming and going, it's no surprise that quality can be inconsistent. While some seafood products at Trader Joe's inspire cult followings, others fail to meet customer expectations. For example, the brand's wild raw Argentinian shrimp is a big hit among customers, with one TikTok user proclaiming that this product is the only shrimp they'll continue buying. 
However, reviewers on Trader Joe's reviews describe the now unavailable tempura shrimp crunch rolls as disgusting and mushy. In a product review, the Buying Seafood blog notes that Trader Joe's needs to be more transparent about seafood sources on its packaging, which is something its eco-conscious customers would certainly appreciate. Sprouts Farmers Market champions responsibly sourced seafood, prioritizing sustainability and transparency by avoiding suppliers that employ questionable practices. Sprouts strives to source its seafood from suppliers that have earned certifications from organizations such as the Marine Council Stewardship. Due to the brand's commitment to quality and sustainability, its fresh, frozen and prepared seafood items are all worthwhile purchases. For example, the wild ahi tuna steaks are one of many previously frozen products that have earned near-perfect scores on the company website. As Sprouts fans and many food bloggers already know, one of the retailer's most notable seafood offerings is sushi. Because while grocery store sushi has a reputation for being lower quality than restaurant options, the sushi at Sprouts Farmer's Market actually gets rave online reviews. Fresh sushi is prepared daily and there are many varieties for sale. The store's famous Sushi Wednesday promotion lets shoppers enjoy their favorite roll for just $5. The southeastern U.S. is home to Publix, a beloved grocery chain that has been in business since 1930. Over the years, Publix has become popular with consumers, and despite its relatively small size, the chain frequently tops lists of the best companies to work for and the best grocery stores for shoppers. Just this year, Publix took the top spot on Newsweek's list of America's best customer service in the supermarket category, an honor the retailer has achieved for several years. Publix also offers a variety of high-quality products, including certified organic items under its private label. However, seafood is something consumers may want to skip buying at Publix. A seafood expert on Reddit explained that Publix's quality standards can vary widely from store to store. One YouTube reviewer cautions against buying pre-packaged shrimp platters because of issues with texture and flavor. Sadly, shrimp isn't the only potential problematic seafood at Publix. In Florida, the retailer issued a recall on oysters after several customers became ill. Of course, recalls can happen to any retailer, but Publix may want to reconsider some of its supplier relationships to improve quality. Starting with one store in Queens, New York and growing to nearly 100 locations, H Mart is among the largest Korean supermarket chains in the United States. Many communities have limited access to reputable Asian supermarkets and the founder sought to change that with H Mart. The chain, still run by the founding family, remains committed to offering high quality, authentic products that make it easier for Korean people to recreate their favorite dishes. And the brand's most well-known offering is probably seafood, which includes live seafood like crab and lobster. If customer buys any fish, we like to uh, customize as they, as they want it. Live seafood tanks are just the beginning. Another noteworthy site is H Mart's sushi display, which includes a wide assortment of pre-made options and sushi-grade salmon to use in homemade dishes. Although live seafood is arguably the best option H Mart offers, the pre-packaged fish is also a worthwhile purchase. San Francisco Eater recommends buying mackerel, which H Mart sells whole or as prepared fillets. H Mart's impressive selection surpasses most grocery chains and is the closest many consumers can get to a dedicated fish market. Aldi, the fast-growing supermarket chain started in Germany in the 1970s and has since spread across Europe and the United States. The retailer primarily offers private label products and lower prices than most competitors. One of the highlights of shopping at this chain are the weekly Aldi finds, an ever-changing assortment of limited-time items. Although customers love Aldi's unique products, its seafood offerings are unfortunately not on par with the rest of its product lineup. For example, a 2017 Associated Press article reported that Aldi was identified as a retailer who may have received seafood from Asian processing facilities that don't pay their workers a living wage. According to the article, facilities in China hired North Korean workers to process seafood bound for the US, but most of the proceeds went straight to the North Korean government instead of the workers. As of 2022, Aldi faces a lawsuit about false sustainability claims. Seafood Source reported on a class action lawsuit against the retailer because of misleading product information on its Atlantic salmon packaging, in addition to a salmon-focused lawsuit filed by a group called Toxin Free USA. 
According to the plaintiff, tests indicated the presence of toxic chemicals in Aldi's salmon products due to unsustainable practices from suppliers. Until Aldi moves towards sustainable sourcing, consumers should look elsewhere for seafood. In conclusion, consumers should try to shop at stores that sell responsibly raised and caught seafood products, because enjoying fish that's both tasty and eco-friendly is a win-win for your taste buds and the earth.